Roatan Honduras. And Bocas del Toro, Panama. Both are really cool spots worthy of your vacation time. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the differences between these two places. For those of you that need to make a choice between one or the other for your next vacation. Hi, my name is Air Miller and this is Plan Free. Thank you for joining us. If you like what we're talking about on this channel, press the like button and subscribe. When it comes to comparing Roatan Honduras and Bocas del Toro Panama, one of the first things to discuss is accessibility and how you're going to get there. In the case of Roatan, you'll be able to fly directly to the island because it's serviced by many international airports. Once you've arrived at the airport in Roatan, a 15 or 20 minute taxi ride will usually get you to where you're staying. When you compare that to vacationing in Bocas del Toro, it'll be a little bit more involved travel wise to get to and from this island. Most of the time you'll fly into Panama City or you'll fly into San Jose, Costa Rica. And from there, you've got a few different options to go from these cities on to Bocas del Toro. The easiest and fastest way to do this but also the most expensive is to catch another flight from either Panama or San Jose onto Isla Colon. So it'll cost you about $200, about one hour flight and you'll be there. If on the other hand, you want to budget your money even further and or you like the adventure of a drive through rural Costa Rica and or Panama, you would then look at catching a bus tour or let's say renting or purchasing your own car and driving the approximate 10 hour drive from let's say Panama City to Almirante. Bus tours will go anywhere from about 40 to $80. And then you would be looking at catching a water ferry or taxi from a town called Almirante onwards to your final destination, Isla Colon. Let's talk about ocean activities available in these two spots. Because they're both islands, relatively small, surrounded by oceans, ocean activities are likely going to be a focal part of the reasons you would choose to vacation in either of these spots. When it comes to Roatan, Roatan is known for its diving and its snorkeling on the very vibrant and healthy reef that is easily accessible from the island. Roatan is a popular spot for people to get their PADI certification for scuba diving because Roatan has excellent instructors on the island and it's geographically speaking one of the lower cost areas in the world for you to go ahead and get that certification. Whether it be diving or snorkeling, Roatan is going to have, like I said before, a healthy reef with a wide variety of marine life available for you to view and enjoy. When comparing that to the ocean activities available to enjoy in Bocas del Toro, you will still have scuba diving and snorkeling available to you in this area. In addition to that, you'll also have surfing and corresponding surf culture available to you. The region of Bocas del Toro will have a wide variety of different waves and breaks catering to anywhere from the beginner to the expert. In this region, you might want to check the seasonality for the best times to be in the area if you're interested in surfing. Accessing the surfing will involve a few different things depending on where you want to go. If you're staying on Isla Colon, for example, you'll be able to bike, taxi, drive, or bus to some of the surf spots right on this island. Another way and is popular in this area is to water taxi to other breaks that might be available on nearby islands or uh, reef breaks that might be in somewhat open water nearby. You'll notice a little bit more of a surf and surfing culture when you're hanging out in Isla Cologne as compared to Roatan where you likely almost never see that. Island hopping and day tours. Both Roatan and Bocas del Toro will have these options available. In the case of Roatan, you might choose to take a day tour or a couple day tour to an island like Utila, which is known again for its scuba diving and its socializing and nightlife. Pigeon Key is another option for a day trip off of Roatan. You would likely hire a private captain, take a single boat of you and let's say a few friends out to Pigeon Key, where you would likely enjoy this little island with its beautiful beach all by yourself. 
Bocas del Toro in comparison in Panama will have numerous more options available for you for day tours and island hopping excursions. Just because the geography in this area, the islands are grouped much closer together. And so you've got islands such as Isla Carinero, Bastimentos, Solarte, Cristobal, and more. Most of these can be reached with just a brief water taxi of let's say under 30 minutes on average. And you can experience different islands with different beaches, different wave breaks, and other experiences. One of the unique experiences that you might be able to enjoy while you're in Bocas del Toro island hopping is that this area has several different varieties and colors of poisonous dart frogs that are endemic to this region. And it's pretty memorable to go and see these frogs because they don't exist just anywhere in the world. And it's definitely something unique to this area. If anybody out there is watching and you know of more unique things, whether it be wildlife or other things that are endemic to either Bocas del Toro and or Roatan, go ahead and add them in the comments below and add to the conversation. My name is Zair Miller and this is Plan Free. Hopefully this video has provided you a point or two to consider if you're trying to decide between Bocas del Toro and Roatan Honduras for your next vacation. If you like what we're talking about, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye for now.